Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Archer's Maker eVTOL achieves full transition. Women in Aviation International announces 2023 inductees. Base Jumper survives harrowing ordeal. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Archer's Maker eVTOL achieves full transition. Archer Aviation has announced that its Maker eVTOL made its first full transition to wingborne flight on November 29th. Transition refers to the shifting of an aircraft's lift generation from one architecture and set of governing physical principles to another, most often from vertical flight by dint of downward vectored rotor thrust to forward flight. Maker's design comprises no fewer than 12 rotors attached to six booms, the entirety of which are conjoined to the underside of a conventional high aspect ratio fixed wing. During takeoff and landing, all 12 of Maker's rotors are oriented parallel to the aircraft's longitudinal axis, thereby providing thrust for ascent and controlled descent. Once aloft, Maker's forward six rotors slowly articulate until their planes lie perpendicular to the aircraft's longitudinal axis, thereby generating forward thrust, induced lift, and eventually accelerating the machine to forward speeds commensurate with wingborne flight. The November 29th test sortie saw Maker's tilt rotors lock into their cruise positions for the first time. The lift propulsion scheme motivated the aircraft to a steady calibrated airspeed of 91 knots. The Maker flight test program is working to see the aircraft FAA type certified in the latter part of 2024. And after the break, Commemorative Air Force announces 12 planes of Christmas. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Commemorative Air Force announces 12 planes of Christmas. The Commemorative Air Force will move forward with its long-standing popular 12 planes of Christmas campaign for 2022. The fundraising event is enshrined in CAF tradition and allows the organization to close out the year by calling attention to the myriad historically significant aircraft being restored and cared for by CAF members. Each year, the 12 Planes of Christmas Crusade features a dozen vintage aircraft undergoing or in imminent need of extensive restoration work and solicits public support of the expensive, time-consuming endeavors. Canadian Air Crew's Dominican Ordeal Nears Possible End On April 5, 2022, a Pivot Airlines crew happened upon 460 pounds of cocaine stashed in the avionics bay of the CRJ-100 they were scheduled to operate. The captain, Robert Di Venanzo, immediately reported such to both Canadian and Dominican authorities. Dominican police confiscated the air crew's passports and imprisoned Di Venanzo, his SIC, two flight attendants, and a pivot maintenance engineer. Pivot Airlines CEO Eric Edmondson recently reported, quote, Paperwork was filed to free the five pivot crew members who have been detained in the Dominican Republic for 220 days after reporting suspected contraband on their aircraft. We are deeply relieved that these five Canadians will soon return home to their families and loved ones." End quote. North Carolina CASA 212 pilot's death deemed accidental. On July 29, 2022, while serving as second-in-command aboard a CASA 212, Charles Crooks began an approach to North Carolina's Rayford West Airport. 
The approach destabilized, and before Crooks could establish a positive rate of climb, the CASA forcefully impacted the runway. The pilot in command took control of the aircraft and instructed him to declare an emergency. Thereafter, Crooks complained of feeling ill. Crooks reportedly stated he needed air, opened the CASA's rear ramp, made his way aft, and stepped from the aircraft. The medical examiner certified that neither drugs nor alcohol were present in the young pilot system at the time of his death. NTSB urges immediate inspections of Bell 407 helicopters. The NTSB has issued urgent recommendations to American and Canadian aviation regulators to require both immediate and more frequent inspections of certain components of Bell's popular single-engine 407 helicopters. The NTSB's identification of the urgent safety issue derived of its ongoing investigation of a June 8th accident in which the tail boom of a Bell 407 operating in the vicinity of Kalia, Hawaii separated from the aircraft's fuselage during an air tour flight. Investigators located the tail boom more than 700 feet from the helicopter's main wreckage. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Women in Aviation International announces 2023 inductees. Women in Aviation International has announced its upcoming crop of 2023 inductees for its International Pioneer Hall of Fame. These trailblazers will be honored at the 34th Annual Women in Aviation International Conference, where they'll be honored with a ceremony and celebration dinner. The newest group of pioneers include Nancy Bird, the first Australian woman to use a commercial pilot's license. Bird was the founder of the Australian Women Pilots Association and later went on to be an integral part of opening an aerial ambulance service in New South Wales during the 1970s. She continued to be involved in Australian aviation. Second, aviation's favorite power couple, Martha and John King, will be recognized for their commitment to helping ease the transition from civilian to aviator. The couple's long-running training courses have inducted thousands into the industry, advancing with the times as they move from videos to all-inclusive mobile applications. The Kings have received no shortage of awards throughout their careers. Finally, retired Colonel Meryl Tengestall will round out the inductees with her career flying the U-2 reconnaissance aircraft. Her work continues today as a fitness trainer and motivator with her memoir, Shattered the Sky, What Going to the Stratosphere Taught Me About Self-Worth, Sacrifice, and Discipline. And after these messages, Base Jumper survives harrowing ordeal. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Base Jumper survives harrowing ordeal. On November 26, 2022, a base jumper was injured when a gust of wind caught his parachute and forced him into the face of the aptly named Tombstone Cliff near Moab, Utah. The impact rendered the jumper unconscious. Fortune intervened on the man's behalf, however, snagging his parachute on a ledge some 100 feet above the ground. A witness to the event recounted, quote, He just slammed into that thing hard and then started to fall straight down. My guess is that he fell close to 100 feet before hitting a ledge, and then that chute snagged on the ledge miraculously, because on those cliffs, there's really nothing to snag on, end quote. Representatives of Utah's Grand County Search and Rescue reported that the jumper, despite dangling from his parachute lines for more than an hour as teams worked to effect his rescue, was alive when he was airlifted out of Cane Creek Canyon. 
The Tombstone Cliff incident was one of three base jumping mishaps that occurred during 2022's Turkey Boogie, an annual weekend-long base jumping event held ironically to raise money for Grant County Search and Rescue. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!